time, want to toss it over to Tony Sadiko uh, before the latest on Hurricane Irma. Tony? Absolutely. We continue to monitor a very dangerous situation now for the Bahamas, and it's likely going to be an issue for us here as early as tomorrow. We'll start to feel the effects of those tropical storm force winds tomorrow night and then with the main event here happening on Sunday. But you can see the eye still staying basically between Cuba and many of the islands of the Bahamas there, but still causing a lot of issues. Keep in mind, hurricane force winds extend out 70 miles out from the center. So this is a, a absolutely destructive storm for folks in the Bahamas, even and through uh, sections of Cuba, the north and east side of the island. They're dealing with some of the effects. Also watching some of those outer bands as they inch on closer towards Florida as well. Hurricane hunters have been closely investigating the storm and uh, have been picking up winds uh, that have been sustained uh, well over 100 miles an hour. So 150, that's the latest from the Hurricane Center. That's a Category 4, and it's a strong one as it continues to make its track, uh, likely to make that north-northwest turn uh, here as early as tomorrow. That's when we're expecting it to make that northwest turn. And at this point, the models have shifted further towards the west. That is not good news for us because it means greater impacts are possible here in southwest Florida. So great, greater impacts are possible, including uh, hurricane force winds, storm surge, and the like. So the forecast track at this point does have uh, some sort of landfall here as early as Sunday morning as is Category 4, still a strong Category 4. Uh, somewhere near the Florida Keys, possibly near Marathon, maybe a little bit further towards the west, maybe a little further towards the east. At this point, we should plan like we could potentially get the worst of it as it continues its track towards across Monroe County into Collier County and the, the rest of southwest Florida, it basically bisecting the state of Florida all the way up to, to the north and by Monday should be somewhere uh, in north northeast Florida, continuing its track in through sections of southeast United States. So hurricane warnings are in effect. Glades, Hendry, Collier County. These were upgraded last night. Watches in effect for basically anywhere from Lee County to the north. Talk about storm surge warnings. The, these are now in effect. In fact, they were extended this morning from Bonita Beach all the way up towards Venice. So that does include Coastal Lee County, also inland Lee County included in that storm surge warning. At this point, we do not have any watches in place. So Winfield, as we take a closer look here, keep in mind tropical storm force winds are possible to impact the area as early as tomorrow night. With the hurricane force winds are moving through here, uh, possibly as early as Sunday. Uh, here in southwest Florida. So that is what we are expecting. And now at this point, it looks like the majority of the region could see hurricane force winds. Exactly how strong those winds are in your neighborhood will be very dependent on where the eye tracks. But at this point, keep in mind with winds uh, up to, say, 100 miles per hour, which are in the forecast, that could cause some catastrophic damage. So please rush those preparations to completion. We'll have more updates coming up.